Hello everyone and welcome back to another software review video. Today we are going to review that which is an AI based software management tool. Here you can just manage all your projects in one space. It has a lot of cool features. You can manage all your tasks at one place. Uh, you can also effortlessly integrate with all the cool apps you are working on. You can revolutionize your working space and you can save a lot of time and manage your unmanaged work and just reduce your payload stress and workload of the particular task. Now let us get started. To get started, log in using your user ID and password. You can also log in using your Gmail account. So this is the central dashboard of that. You can see the UI is simple and user friendly. You can get all the features in the dashboard. You have this on uh, the list of tasks in this. You can see all your tasks and you can just track all the tasks by clicking on the particular tasks. When you click on a, a task that, for example, download that apps and then uh, you can just take a look at this particular task. You have this welcome to that. Just click on it and you will see the lookup you have also this tutorial this is tagged as tutorial and this is assignee so in this way you can just see the tax and manage the tax to add new tax click on the new tax button and then you can add a new tax just write the name of tax that uh, make a video and then hit the enter button and your tax is created so in this way you can just take a look at the tax let us navigate to this home and in the home you have this all the my tax buttons and you can click on particular tasks like this welcome to that and then it is the start by clicking open this task and this is the description of the task and the name of assignee is also assigned here uh, this is the dart board name of the dart board and the tags uh, tag is tutorial and the status is to do when i complete this task then i have to just see click on the intern and this task is completed so let us then navigate to home and explore the features of the home also and here you have uh, all your teammates you can see all your teammates uh, your friends and this dart ai is also your one of your teammate which is going to help you a lot and in the upcoming tasks you will get a list of upcoming tasks since we don't have any upcoming tasks so we don't take a look at the upcoming tasks and these are the recent tasks that we just click now and the blue tick ones are those which are uh, completed and then you have this option of ai chat click on the ai chat you can chat with ai just ask anything or you can simply uh, go to these uh, prompts that plan this project or brainstorm new tasks or stand up report uh, so i'm just going to plan this project click on plan this project and then uh, it is going to uh, plan a project for me and you can take a look at this uh, this the project has been planned you can see uh, distribution of the responsibilities between me and my teammate and uh, this is the plan and the project window runs from today to 30 days from now so it is planned and you can see uh, all the planning in this mark this tax as done in the upcoming tax so it automatically creates a new tax and you can take a look now let us take a look at another feature that is my tax in the my tax you can get a list of all the tasks which are running or which are upcoming and this make a video tax is just created by me and you can see all the tasks are here and the ai chat will appear in the right hand side uh, window uh, you can just close anytime you want if you are getting disturbed or you can just make it open and ask it anything anytime you want and in the inbox button you have all the inbox messages from your colleagues but for now our inbox is empty when we are going to get message then we will just have conversation from the inbox and in this intelligence you have two features like dashboards and reports in the dashboard you have this overview click on this overview and you have all the overview like one of chart 
tax, tax by assignee, tax by status, tax by that word status, tax by size and all the matrices for your tax and you can just track your competency and track your uh, work by taking a look at the different types of charts here. So you can take a overview and then you have reports. Uh, these are the reports uh, that uh, are present here to just uh, take a look at your, uh, for example, you can create a new report uh, or you can see the existing reports. You have two types of report, new stand up report and new chain log report. And this is uh, uh, pre existing report. Uh, then just you can. Uh, So to generate this report, you have to choose the time span and what type of report you want to uh, create. For example, a stand-up report or chain log report and click on the generate report and it will automatically generate report from uh, July 26 to now. So in the report, it says that there were no tasks completed during this period. So this report is empty uh, since we don't have uh, completed any tasks, but if we had completed, then it will be automatically shown in the report. So this is quite good feature for admin who is going to just take an overview that how are tasks running and how are the employees working. Just go on this uh, report and take a look at the reports to see. And in the views, you can see all your views. So we haven't made any views. So views is empty, but all the views will be uh, stored here and we can just take a look. And in the spaces, we have this general space and personal space. In personal, we have two things like tutorial tasks. And these tutorial tasks were assigned by my colleague to me. And this is getting started. So getting started is basically uh, for the new people who are just beginning using that, uh, they can just take a look at the intro video app and team setup, how sprints work, making the most of that. And then you can just uh, also add new spaces. Uh, for example, just click on this add space button and you have two options to create a dartboard or to create a doc folder. If you are going to create a dartboard, you can create a dartboard. And if you want to create a doc folder, then you can create a doc folder. Let us create a dartboard. Just click on create a dartboard and make the name of the dartboard like a new project. Then hit the enter button and here you go. Your dartboard is created. So this dartboard is empty for now. You can just brainstorm or add new tags in the dartboard. Uh, let us at first brainstorm. Uh, this is quite good feature. You have two things like using AI or your teammates. Since my teammates are not available, so I am going to brainstorm by myself. And you have to describe the project. So the project is about creating content videos. And related to SAS, uh, so just say you can take the time limit like 5 minutes, 10 minutes or custom. So I am going to choose 5 minutes and click on start brainstorming. And then... Uh, brainstorming has started uh, we are going to take uh, help of ai and you can just uh, whenever your brainstorming and whenever you feel new things like uh, just hit this in the chat And in the five minute window, you can just uh, ask uh, with AI about different things and the timer is running. So you can just uh, write and this new chat has been created. So uh, I'm just asking a question that how can we create content videos in YouTube and in enter the hit the enter button and the AI suggestion will appear here. And also you have these uh, things which are uh, suggested by the AI that set up a dedicated filming space, content animation, and this thing runs up and you can just uh, add this or delete this anytime you want. Uh, for now, this is quite good thing. And different topics for different tasks have been created that develop a social media, reach out SaaS companies, develop a create branding, set up dedicated filming space, outline equipment, draft a content calendar, research training, SaaS tools for potential reuse. 
and still 2.5 minutes is remaining. This is how this brainstorming feature works. Just click on uh, configure brainstorm. You can pause the brainstorm or also stop the brainstorm or you can reconfigure the brainstorm. So for now, I think this is uh, done for brainstorming. So I'm going to just click the stop brainstorming and my brainstorming is completed and new list of tasks has been created to my dartboard. In this way, you can brainstorm. Also, you can brainstorm with your teammates and the process is similar. So then let us take a look at the pricing plan for that. So it has two pricing plan basis on which you are going to receive the pricing plan. One is yearly and another is monthly. Uh, it is obvious that if you are going to choose the yearly plan, then you are going to save. But if you are going to use for short period of time, then you can choose the monthly plan. And in the monthly plan, there are three pricing tiers. One is personal, which is priced, uh, which is not priced because it is free. Then the premium plan is offered for $10 per month and the business plan is offered for $15 per month. So what are the differences that you are getting GitHub integration in the premium plan? You are getting GitHub priority support and more features in the business plan. And so the most popular plan is premium plan. So you have all the options for using that AI in the premium plan. But if your needs are growing, uh, if you have a big business, then you can choose the business plan and you can get the priority support. And what happens if you are going to choose for the yearly plan, the price is decreasing by 20% and 20% in both premium and business plan. And my favorite is this personal plan, which is free and it is for uh, users who are going to try that and use them for personal use so this is free forever and it offers different features like a agent a task execution a reporting and all the features so basically it is free when you are using for yourself only but if you are using for your business and your growth then you have to pay something so this is all about that ai uh, thank you very much for watching this video